You're not going to believe this brand new feature that the MinSwap team have released. It is unlimited slippage on their swaps. Now, what is slippage? It's something you need to understand before you play around with this feature. And it does come with a massive disclaimer here in that you can possibly lose all your funds in a trade. Now I have done a course module on the Lurkandana website about slippage. Essentially what it is, it's when you put in a submission for a trade on a decentralized exchange, it takes a little bit of time for that transaction to get on the blockchain and then process by the DEX. And in that time, the price might change. And that is the slippage between your initial set price and what you expect to the execution price. And that may take a little bit of time. And by default, the slippage should be set at around 0.5%. So you're not losing out on too much. So if the price does fall out of that boundary of that slippage that you set, then the order won't get executed. Now you can see this on many DEXs and here where the order queuing is quite high. Let me just zoom in for you there. You can see there are 849 orders being queued at the moment and they may be queued because their order is out of their range of their slippage and now is essentially a limit order on their DEX and waiting for the price to go back at that point so it would actually execute. Now, the MinSwap team have put in the ability to change that slippage rate to unlimited. So you can click on the settings here. So you can hit that little toggle there and execute the order no matter what the price happens to be by the time it gets executed on chain. Now, this is highly, highly risky. The, the price could fluctuate dramatically, especially on some of these meme coins at the moment that are going absolutely crazy. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Now, this could be highly risky, especially with some of these meme coins at the moment, which are trading in extremely high volumes. And uh, as you can see here, that it's going up and down all over the place and the price is quite volatile. So one second, you might be executing an order down here at this low price, but then the price shoots up dramatically. Your order won't get to execute at all unless you put in that unlimited slippage and manage to get your order in, but it might execute a little bit later and uh, it executes for a higher price. So you're not buying it at the price that you're expecting it. So it's highly risky that you do. Now, there's a lot of comments about this as well. Uh, so it, they do warn you, you know, you don't do this unless you fully understand what you're doing. And uh, there's a lot of people here. Uh, why would you use this? Uh, what's the advantage of using unlimited slippage? Selling meme coins before they drop another 50%. Yes, there you go. So if you really want to exit your position on a meme coin or something that's trading and you think, oh, I've got to get out of this, you can set it to unlimited and it will sell at any point and it might continue falling and you might have sold at a good point or you might have sold right at the bottom and executes. So please use this with caution. There's other comments down here as well. Man, people are going to get wrecked with this feature, not poo-pooing it, but yeah. So like I said, please use this one with caution. Who needs this feature? Why drag myself into unlimited risk? Now, why do we even need unlimited slippage? That is a really good question. Now, this is because the Cardano blockchain works differently to EVM based chains where you might see Uniswap, SushiSwap and all these other really popular decentralized exchanges. On those exchanges, you can pay a higher gas fee to get your transactions ahead of the queue and get them onto the next block and executed so you don't have to deal with that slippage. In doing so, you might pay a really high gas fee because you're competing against everyone else. And this is why sometimes you see on Ethereum, the gas fees go to an extremely high level because people are competing for a particular NFT project that might be launching or they're trying to uh, get in on various meme coins on the Ethereum blockchain. So gas fees are a problem there. With Cardano, it's different. All the fees are deterministic in that you know exactly how much you're going to pay for a transaction before it happens and they also don't fail. So because of this, developers on the Cardano ecosystem have to take a different approach and use batching methods and off-chain processing to actually make those transactions scale on their various platforms. There's nothing worse than putting through a transaction on an Ethereum-based DEX, paying a high, high transaction cost and then having it fail. No one likes that. So like I said, please, please be cautious when using this particular feature. Use it with care. Use it only if you know what you're doing and understand the risk 
of unlimited slippage. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, um, jump onto the uh, Learn Cardano course here about understanding slippage. I'll put a link to it in the show notes so that you guys can learn a little bit more about slippage and permanent loss, all these risks that you can have when interacting with a decentralized exchange such as MinSwap or anything else in the DeFi ecosystem. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.